sorting my life out before Christmas. Let's do this. No more Christmas cards. Actually, I don't even know why. Sorting your life out is no joke. This is why I do this. January to March can get in the bin. Good morning from a very snowy Cheshire. The snow is falling, everything looks beautiful, and I am ready to get cosy and continue the pre-Christmas declutter. I've made myself a little coffee. It's a caramel latte sachet because your girl's on a budget, so we're all about sachets here. The Christmas tree is up, the lights are on. Don't judge me because I have children and they were not gonna let another weekend go by without that Christmas tree going up. And I don't mind it, to be honest. I feel like I need a couple of extra weeks of fairy lights in my life. I have always loved the pre-Christmas season more than actual Christmas itself. I love the like build up to it, the excitement of it. I love this part of winter. So I guess it's autumn winter, but it's snowing. So we're gonna call it winter right now. January to March can get in the bin, but this part I love. It feels super cozy in the house. The fairy lights are on, the candles are lit, the YouTube ambiance is on the TV. And I am just ready to have a super cozy day inside sorting my life out. So we are going to continue the sort my life out series by sorting out under my bed. So we're sat on the floor in my bedroom right now. Um, basically under our bed is a bit of a hot mess. There are all kinds of things under there. I've got the two next size up boxes for my children's clothes. So basically I like to buy my children clothes when I see them on sale, but they're not always necessarily going to be the right age, the right season. So I store them in a next size up box underneath my bed. It's the only place I have to put them. So those are under there and I want to make sure I've got absolutely everything out that is either Christmassy or for the sizes that they're going into so that I don't overbuy clothes because I've definitely been guilty of out of sight, out of mind and forgetting that I've got stuff until it's too late. So I want to make sure that doesn't happen and go through those boxes today, get everything out, see what I've got, see what I need, get the kids wardrobe sorted. There are also shoes under there, there is bedding under there, there are some random items under there and there's like Christmas wrapping paper and stuff. You'll see what's under there but it's a bit of a mess. I want to get it sorted, it probably needs a good hoover as well because it gets super dusty under there. So we are going to continue sorting my life out before Christmas. I'm feeling really motivated with the decluttering at the moment. There's something about the lead up to Christmas that motivates me to get stuff out of my house. I feel like the last couple of years I didn't manage to be so successful. I mean, obviously I had a newborn. I would have had like a two month old two years ago now and then just over one year old and obviously my daughter as well. So I'll have to give myself a pass on that. But this year, there's no excuses. I can sort this house out before Christmas comes. So not only will we have less stuff in the house by the time Christmas comes, we're also very much not going to be bringing as much stuff in this Christmas. My mum's not buying as much stuff for the kids. We're not buying as much stuff for the kids. I'm definitely feeling like I want 2025 to be a bit of a year of less in a lot of ways. So bringing less stuff into the house, having less stuff to manage, having less stuff to do, less stress. It sounds like perfection. So basically that's what we're working on at the moment. I took another bag of stuff to the charity shop yesterday. Basically my kids were playing in my daughter's room the other day and I managed to get a few things out of that room at that time which was great. So I took that whole bag to the charity shop yesterday. I'm very much at the moment trying to work off once we've decided it's going, get it out of the house. Get it out of the house before the kids decide they want it or before I find a reason to keep it. I do sometimes find it hard to get rid of some of the kids' toys. I feel like maybe that's because when I was a kid, we didn't have anywhere near the amount of toys and stuff as my kids have got. My kids have no idea how lucky they are. So I feel a little bit like I want to hoard the kids' toys, especially when they're like good ones. I don't know. I guess it's that normal instinct to not want to get rid of something because it was expensive. It's a little bit like that even though it makes no sense because we're not using it. We did also identify a couple of items that we are going to try to sell. So last night a guy came and picked up um, an old DSLR camera. We have had that thing for years and we have barely taken a single photo on it. It doesn't go anywhere with us. It, my husband bought it. I, I don't even know why, but we haven't used the thing, so it has now gone. Someone's got an absolute bargain there. We also have a very expensive pair of headphones that I bought when I was going on a flight to Thailand and I thought they would help me with like sleeping on the plane and stuff. 
they absolutely did not help. You cannot help me when it comes to sleeping on a plane. I just can't do it. And I don't wear them. They're like over ear ones. They were really expensive at the time, but this was before we had kids and I had that kind of money to burn on things like that. So we're going to try and sell those. And also my daughter is going to be getting like the next size up scooter for Christmas. So we're going to clean up her old one and we're going to try and sell that before Christmas because obviously more people will be looking out for a secondhand one before Christmas. So we've got those few things sort of earmarked to get sold. We're just generally constantly working on the declutter of the house, which feels really good. I feel like so much stuff has gone out of the house. You can definitely tell that it's not as cluttered. So I'm excited to get to work on this little area. I am gonna try and be strict with myself today and restrict it to just this area and not get mission creep and like start doing something else because my mental health is not great. I think I've mentioned before that I think I've got PMDD. So I suffer from like really low mood in the week before my period. That's where we are right now. And um, yeah, honestly, I, I'm not in a great place. So I'm going to try and just stick to this one small area and then after that I'm going to go and do the food job. I'm basically going to try and keep my promise to myself not to overdo it. So we're going to deal with this one small area. This one small area will make a big difference to the house as a whole so let's get going. Let's declutter some stuff and let's sort my life out. Let's do this. Okay I've brought you to see what we've got going on in here. It's actually nowhere near as bad as it's been in the past but this is where we are right this particular second. So we've got Christmas wrapping paper box. We've got next size up box, bunch of gift bags, some very random items, including a fan, uh, my son's next size up box, sentimental items I think are in the shoes all in the back, bedding, and who knows what is in that bag, maybe a coat. I think the first thing that we'll do is my daughter's next size up box. Um, let's work on this one first and we'll come back to the rest of it. If it's not obvious, we are working in a small space today, confined spaces, so yeah, we've got that going on. Right, let's have a look what's in here. I've got this really nice, like warm Zara, brand new with tags. It was $27.99 um, sort of coat thing that I bought for her at the charity shop. She's only five, but she's tall, so she's kind of wearing like seven to eights. I also let the kids wear their clothes baggy because obviously then they last longer. I don't think she's going to be ready for this one for a while though. So that one's definitely going to need to get folded up and get restored back in the box. Then I've got this one, which I really like. This is another nine to ten years. It's a mountain warehouse, like purple, warm hoodie. Again, this is from the charity shop, it was $4.99, but I can only imagine how much it would have cost new. Um, so that, again, is definitely going to need to stay in storage. I am spotting a few Christmas items, though, and I'm not sure if they're Christmas items for this year or not. What size is this? Oh, this is seven years, so this is going to be perfect for this year. It's a little, um, like, Christmas dress. I got it from Sainsbury's. It was £8, but I bought it in the sale for £2.40. This is why I do this, because it saves me so much money. So that definitely needs to go in her wardrobe for this year. Otherwise, it's going to get forgotten about. And these are also like little festive leggings. These also need to go in her wardrobe. have to get her to try those on they need to go out of here or she's not gonna get to wear them this is age eight she might be able to wear this this year but I'm gonna leave it in here because if I take this one out she will wear it before Christmas um, and if she does wear it I'd like her to wear it for like Christmas Day or something so I'm gonna keep this one in the box but make a mental note that it's there this is a Christmas top that I bought for sale, £2.50 um, at Tesco last year. So this definitely needs to go in the wardrobe. And then another Christmas top. Right, this is exactly what I'm talking about. These are the right size leggings that she needs currently. I did not realise that these were in here. I obviously bought them when they were half price 
didn't realize they were in here and I was going to buy her more leggings. So this is exactly why we are in this box. And same with these. These will also be um, the right size for her now. This coat she could probably wear now as well. So that's gonna come out. That was actually a much quicker process than I thought it was going to be. There's not as much stuff in here as there has been in the past, which is good because I definitely feel like I've been guilty of overbuying in the past. And I said to myself that I didn't want to do that this year um, because, like I say, I want to have less, less stuff, less stuff to constantly manage, less stuff to sort. So I feel like this is a good start that there is less in here. But that is this box done i don't think there's much in this box that we can really get rid of this box is one of my like guilty pleasures in life it is like a specific box for wrapping stuff so it's the perfect length for like a roll of wrapping paper and then it's got like these little trays on top where you can put like gift tags ribbons all that sort of stuff in there and then you take it out and you've just got all of your wrapping paper underneath. So I'm going to go through this and see what is in here that we either don't need or remind myself what we've got for wrapping paper. So again, I don't overbuy wrapping paper or also so I don't realise that we don't have any when it comes to wrapping gifts. a whole entire new roll of Christmas Tiggle wrapping paper. I got this from the charity shop last year. I think it was 50p for a whole roll. So I'm pleased with that purchase because that is going to stop me probably from needing to buy any wrapping paper for Christmas this year. I've got some tissue paper down here, which again is useful. A lot of this is like saved from gifts that we've got. I think I have too many Christmas cards. If I'm being honest, Christmas cards are one of those things that I have definitely been guilty of overbuying in the past. So I buy them on sale because I do love a good deal. Um, I can't deny it. I buy them on sale and then I don't actually write any Christmas cards or I don't write many Christmas cards at least. And then I have one, two, three, four, five packs of Christmas cards. These ones are the kind of ones where I feel like if my daughter wants to give Christmas cards to her friends, having these in is perfect. So I'm not gonna get rid of them for the sake of it. I want to get rid of them, but I also know things like this are gonna come in handy with my kids. So we're gonna be sensible. I didn't get rid of too much from the Christmas gift wrapping, but it was a very useful exercise in reminding myself what I have so I don't buy it again. Under no circumstances do I need to be buying Christmas cards, no matter how much they are. It doesn't matter if they're giving them away free. I don't need to be buying any Christmas cards. I do not need Christmas cards. No more Christmas cards. I also don't need any Christmas gift wrap because I clearly have more than enough. I'm getting rid of a few bits of paper that like need recycling. This is like the middle of a a gift wrap roll so that's going but other than that the rest of it's same but it's definitely tidier and i'm gonna hoover this space out next then we've got this little section which is like climbing shoes so once upon a time i had a little life crisis before i had kids and decided to start indoor climbing with my husband i really enjoyed it but um i haven't yet been back i would definitely like to though so i will be keeping my climbing shoes. We've also got a couple of harnesses, some chalk. So these things just need temporarily moving. I don't know what this is or what it's off. I think this is something to do with the actual bed. This is mostly bedding. I feel like we have too much bedding if I'm being honest. Um, this one is like a thin one and it's just not my style and honestly it needs to go. 
So I think I'm going to donate that one. Um, I'm not sure where the best place to send it is. I'm also questioning whether or not to get rid of this one as well. We've got a different one on our bed at the moment that's like a brush cotton one that I really like. I just think we've got too much bed in. And honestly, in the near future, I want to replace it all anyway because I want to sort of give the house a bit of a new look. So I think this one can go. I don't think my husband will agree with me, but he's not here. I wonder how long it'll take him to notice. Then we've got this one, which is kind of like a lighter stag one. I mean, I think I'm going to keep this for now, but in the near future, I want this one too. Who doesn't keep this under their bed? Sorting your life out is no joke. I am hot. I've had to take off my hoodie because it's so hot. I already turned the heating down. We're getting rid of one, two, three sets of bedding and a random pillowcase. Honestly, I don't know what other people in this world do to keep their whites white, but I don't think I can just have white bedding. I just don't think we can keep it looking nice and white, or certainly not that material anyway. So that's gone. We will need to buy some more bedding. Honestly, this is going to push us into doing it. And I think I said in the declutter in my wardrobe video, whilst I don't want to be spending unnecessarily, I do want to be spending intentionally. I don't want to have to keep making do with stuff. I want to have the right things, I want to invest in the right items and not just always feel like we're making do with everything so I want to get a nice bedding set that looks good for more than five minutes. I've hoovered out under this first section and now we're going to move on to the back section which is my son's neck size up box, sentimental items and mostly shoes and then there's a random pillow there and I don't know why there's a random pillow. Okay, we're now on the other side of my bedroom. So I've just got shoes, shoes, shoes to deal with and more climbing equipment. If I could clear one of these out, maybe the climbing stuff could go in it. I don't even know what these are insoles from. I have a whole entire box of shoes, like a whole box of them. I absolutely love these. I wear them all the time. They are from Primark, but I love them. So these are definitely staying. Then I've got these shoes, which are Carvela ones. They're absolutely gorgeous. I bought them, I think, pre-kids on sale. And I have never worn them out. If I have, I've worn them out maybe once. Look, you can see. They're practically brand new. They are stunning. I will never wear these. I need to let go of the emotional attachment and let them go. I absolutely despise this style of shoe. I love the print, but I have had these for years and I haven't worn them. So I think we need to say goodbye to these as well and let somebody who's actually gonna wear them have them. So that was successful. We're saying goodbye to two pairs of shoes and I just need to have a look what is in these other boxes. Okay, there are more of my shoes in here. So I have these Kurt Geiger ones. I have a matching handbag to these and these are like, my go-to ones for a wedding. So I think these are gonna have to stay. They are very similar to the other pairs I have. Clearly I only like to wear black or pink shoes. I've managed to fit all of my shoes into this box, which means I now have a couple of these boxes that I can free up for other stuff. So that is really helpful because I wanted to get some of this climbing stuff put away properly. It's already looking so much better, feeling so much better. There's quite a lot of stuff that's gone out of here, which is a surprise because I didn't really think there was going to be so much, but there's like several sets of bedding, several pairs of shoes. I've managed to like consolidate all of my shoes into the original box that they should have been in, which has now given me some spare storage space. So I'm really pleased with how it's going so far. I'm going to get this box back under here and then we can move on to the last couple of boxes. Next it's the memory box. I can tell you now I'm going to struggle with this box. Not much is going to go out of it. Some of it's my husband's, some of it's mine. I don't keep much sentimental. So the things I do have, I'm probably going to keep hold of. 
I don't want to be that person who gets rid of absolutely everything sentimental. You know, there are pictures in here. Printed photos are really hard to get rid of. I'm just not sure that I want to do that. There are also some printed photos from before we had digital cameras. So there are no other versions of these photos. I am that old. This needs to go in one of the kids' memory boxes. It is not in the right place being in here. I have my jewellery box from when I was a child. I just want to make it clear that I did not wind that up, so um, that's concerning. On the home stretch, I've got one box left to sort. Um, this has felt slightly like a bigger job than I thought it was going to be. Right, my son's next size up box seems to be full of coats, so I need to go through and make sure that I've got all the coats that he could be wearing right now out because his current coats are far too thin for this weather um, and to make sure I don't buy any more that are in the same size as what I already have. So this is a four to five years, probably still a little bit on the big side, but honestly, I might have to let him try it. What is this? Three to four, that is perfect. Right, that is coming out for this weather now. I wish I had known this was here this morning when I sent him to um, nursery because I could do with that right now in this snow. I've got him these super cute little hats, three to four. So again, these will be perfect. He's two, but honestly, the difference in size in between two and three when it comes to things like hats and tops, I don't think is that big. Trousers on the other hand, no. They are just ridiculously long, but he can definitely get away with these hats, these mittens, the coat. That will all be perfect. this box is nearly done most of the stuff in here is four to five so it's too big for him yet I've pulled out everything that's three to four because I'm going to put that in his bottom drawers in his bedroom so that I know to move down there except for the Halloween stuff I've got out the next size wellies and I'm going to put those in his bottom drawer as well like wellies especially I always pick up when I see them because these should have been 11 pound and they were like five pound fifty maybe maybe even less to be honest but it's just so worth the saving just for storing them if you've got the space to store them, which obviously is a big if. This is how it's looking. I feel like it looks so much better. I've got the shoes over there, the sentimental items there, my son's neck size up box here, my daughter's here, the wrapping paper here, and then the bedding here. But there is so much more space now than there was before. The only thing I have left to sort out is the gift bags and I'm definitely going to be reducing them down. There is no way that I need that many gift bags. So I'm definitely going to be reducing those down. Who just realised that she put the wrong willies back in here? Here are the right ones. And then just to show you what I have going on in terms of what is going, I've got a random badge, two pairs of shoes, a bunch of bedding, um, a discoloured top. I don't know what I'm going to do with this pillow. And then some actual garbage. And I have put quite a few things back in my kids' rooms um, and things ready to go and be used now. So there's quite a lot of stuff that's actually come out from under that bed. So that is pretty much it for this little section. It has taken, let's see, how long have we been doing this for? It's taken a couple of hours probably to be honest, but obviously I'm also filming as well, so that adds on some time. But in that couple of hours, I feel like I've managed to sort out so much. There's so much less stuff under the bed. The stuff that I actually need is out to be actually used and not forgotten about and wasted. And then I have space under the bed, which I don't intend to fill. But if there are things I need to store, obviously I have some space to store them in that easily accessible place and I've managed to clean it out a little bit as well. I am going to hoover down the back of the bed as well. It gets so dusty down there but it's such a big bed you can't just move it. So I'm going to try and like hoover down that gap. But this was a really well worth the exercise. I have now got all the kids festive clothes out for Christmas. I've got their warm coats. I've got their warm hats out. 
we have less stuff under the bed I'm not going to be needing to buy as much stuff because I've basically done like a stock check and I know what I have as like my inventory to not go over um yeah so I'm feeling really happy about it I definitely feel lighter after I do these things let me know if you enjoyed this video in the comments let me know where you're decluttering before Christmas so we've done my wardrobe now we've done under the bed I've been working on the kids toys and the living room but there's definitely still some work to be done in the house I mean it's a mess right now if you look around me there are just piles of stuff there's a pile of gift bags here there's a pile of clothes and things that need to go out of the house right there so I am going to get those out of the house today I do not want to be keeping hold of these things let me know if you are doing a pre-christmas declutter where are you going to declutter first do you use a next size up box like i do so that you can buy things on sale through the year let me know you have no idea how much dropping a comment on a video like this can help a little channel like mine i'm lee from mortgage freely i talk about money and mum life on the internet we do aldi shopping hauls we sort my life out we do money saving vlogs we do budget with me's so please do press the subscribe button press the thumbs up and i will see you on the next one mm -hmm.